Now let's check high spin and low spin complexes. How high spin, high spin complexes will form and how low spin complexes will form? Let's see. Completely, if a compound wants to be high spin complex, if a complex wants to be low spin complexes, it is completely depends upon the ligand strength. In spectral line, scientists has given the series of ligand strength. That is, these ligands are very much strong ligands. These ligands are very much weak ligands. CO, CN minus, PPH3, NO2 minus, N, NO2 minus, bipyrrole, in NH3, pyrrole. These ligands are strong field ligands. And these ligands are weak field ligands. In octahedral or tetrahedral complexes, when the ligands are 4 or when the ligands are 6, when these kind of ligands are approaching the central metal atom, means strong field ligands, strong field ligands approaches the central metal atom, strong ligands, strong ligands approaches the metal atom, then if it is octahedral, or tetrahedral, then the splitting will be very very high than compared to average. This distance will be very much higher when the ligand is strong. If the ligand is weak, this strength will be, if the ligand is weak, this strength will be very very less. This strength will be very less. So, depend on the strength of the ligand, the strength of the ligand, this, this splitting range will be increases or decreases. If the weak ligand approaches, the strength will be very less and distance will be very less between two d orbitals, split at EG and T2G or T2G and EG. When strong ligands are approaches, the distance between two energy levels is very, very high. That is the reason. So st strong field and weak field. So if strong field ligands approaches, if weak field ligands approaches, how they influence the complex become high spin or low spin? That thing let's check. Let's check uh, with an example. For example, let's take, let's take octahedral complex, octahedral complex. I minus, Cl minus, Br minus are the weak ligands and the NH3 is the strong ligand. In the case of, for example, let's check on titanium, 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 H2O, 6 times, 6 times, 6 times, plus 2 means because here Cl2, let's say Cl2 here. This is octahedral complex. In the same time, titanium with Cl6, let's go for octahedral itself, Cl6, K4. Now the oxidation number of titanium is, how to calculate oxidation number, that, that session I will tell you later. Now let's finish for high spin and low spin complex one. So in titanium, here oxidation number is plus one and here also plus one. How it is, I will tell you later. Now this is also formed octahedral complex and this one also octahedral complex because six ligands, six ligands are there. In this case, in this case, this compound, the distance, the splitting distance from T2G to EG, T2G to EG. In octahedral, T2G is lower energy, EG is higher energy. This distance will be very, very high. And coming to here, in this example, this distance will be very less. Because these are weak ligands, this is strong ligand. What will happen? What will happen if this splitting is like this? Let let see. In this case, here one electron. Here no more electrons because D1 electronic configuration titanium plus 2. So this is plus 2. 
plus 2 configuration. So in D, titanium is D2. 4s2, 4s2, 3d2. These two electrons will be gone by this chlorine atom and here also chlorine atoms. Two more electrons are there. So this is D2 electronic configuration. Sorry, this is D2 electronic configuration. Two electrons are there. Here also two electrons are there. Now, if we can give some amount of energy to this complex, this complex. So this electron will jump from this energy to this energy easily. Easily. If we give the same amount of energy to this complex, the electron will not jump from here to here because this needs high amount of energy to jump from P2G to EG when compared to this complex. This complex. Fine. This is one, one, one of the reason to change its properties because of ligand strength the compound property will definitely change whether magnetic property colors or electric properties they will completely change based on this now i am going to take an example with d electrons more here only d2 electrons are there now now i am going to take another example that for example here cobalt cobalt and here also I am going to take, but suppose cobalt itself. But suppose cobalt itself. Now these things are no need. Here Cl3. Here I am going to give NH3. Now, here cobalt electronic configuration is D7, that means 4s2, 3d7, 3d7, 4s2, 3d7. Here also 4s2, 3d7, but 3 electrons will be gone. So, completely D6 electronic configuration will be there, and this case also D6 electronic configuration will be there. Means that in this complex, in D orbital, 6 electrons are present. 6 electrons are present. Now, how that 6 electrons will be filled in these orbitals? Let's see that secret point. A very, very secret. Let's check it. 6 electrons are there. Now, first electron, second electron, third electron. And fourth electrons are also will be there because of D in D, 6 electrons are there. 3 electrons filled another three electrons are there that three electrons will not go to eg level because this distance is very very high due to strong ligand so that the electron will come and pair in t2g level only fifth electrons also paired up sixth electrons also paired up fine remember that now coming to here 1, 2, 3, fourth electron simply enters into EG level. Fifth electrons also simply enter into EG level because this distance is very less due to weak ligand. Due to weak ligand, this, this distance is very less. So now, sixth electron will come and paired up here. Fine. Now, let me check. How many unpaired electrons are here? Zero. So if we want to calculate the spin, here plus of minus of, plus of minus of, plus of minus of. So spin of electron is zero in this complex. This is D6 electronic configuration and octahedral structure. This is also D6 electronic configuration and octahedral structure. But if you check here, Four unpaired electrons are there. Four by two. Two will be the spin. So here spin value is two. Here spin value is zero. 
सेम कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑक्टा हाइड्रल स्ट्रक्चर ऑक्टा हाइड्रल स्ट्रक्चर सेम डी सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन बोथ ऑफ देम इन बोथ ऑफ देम डी सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन इज देर बोथ आर ऑक्टा हाइड्रल स्ट्रक्चर ओनली बट कमिंग टू दी प्रॉपर्टीज कंप्लीटली चेंज वन इज जीरो स्पिन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन अनदर वन इज टू स्पिन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन सो वेर इज हाई स्पिन वेन कंपेर टू दिस इज लो स्पिन दिस इज हाई स्पिन so simply when strong field ligands are approaches the central metal atom the complex will form low spin complex when 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 weak ligands approaches the central metal atom then the complex will be high spin complex i hope this is very very clear to you so when strong ligands are approaches the central metal atom low spin complexes will form when weak ligand approaches the central metal atom high spin will be formed so and previously i have explained that if electron wants to jump from lower to higher in this example it is very very easy because small amount of energy is sufficient to jump electron from lower energy to higher energy when coming to strong low spin complexes that is strong field ligand complexes the electron wants to jump from lower energy to higher energy it 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 we have to supply high amount of energy to that complex when compared to this complex see how property simply changed so depends upon the ligand strength clear so that how in like this high spin and low spin complexes will form okay now let's uh, let's check cfs how cfs will be changed both are same octahedral octahedral d6 electronic conform d6 electronic configuration but how the stability of the crystal how the stability of the crystal will be there by by checking this cfs let's check for these two examples cfs crystal field stabilizing energy crystal field stabilizing energy this is octahedral structure number of electrons first example let's check first example then we will go for second example <clears throat> in first example number of electrons six are there six into what is the distance 2 by 5 means 0.4 delta octahedral here 0.6 delta octahedral here also same 0.4 only 0.6 only 6 into 0.4 minus 0 plus three pairs of energy is there three pairs are there na three pairs three pairing energy is there this is the formula so total value will be 2.4 2.4 of the integral plus 3 pairing energy this is the value for first example coming to second one second example how many electrons are there in t2g t2g four electrons four Into zero point four minus two more elect two electrons are there in easy two into zero point six plus one pair one pair in energy one pair in energy now one point six four four two point four Sorry, four four six. Sixteen. So now this is one point six minus one point two zero point four zero point four plus one. Pairing energy. 
see how completely value changed because of ligand approach so this is i want to tell how ligands are playing a very important role in crystal formation and their properties etc etc so that's why crystal field theory explains a maximum points in coordination compounds maximum points in coordination compounds we have to calculate these values for d1 to d10 that is very good for us in octahedral and in tetrahedral so i'll 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 keep a note notes definitely i'll give notes better notes for this whatever i am telling you the classes all those classes i will give a best notes for you easy notes to understand so you don't worry about it but you have to do one work is that like this you have to calculate for octahedral and tetrahedral complexes from d1 to d10 for that i will make another complete video how to calculate from d1 to d10 in octahedral d1 to d10 in tetrahedral what is the cfsc value will be there right so understand this so from this in examination they will ask mainly write the d orbital splitting in octahedral and tetrahedral complexes that thing they will ask if they will ask in competition exams so by based on this weak field and strong field ligands i mean high spin and low spin complexes based the questions they will ask in competition exam most so if you if you cover all these things you can able to manage clearly in your examination point